Hey y'all, I hope this video finds you well. So today I'm gonna show you how I make um, some dishcloths. I'm in need of some more, and this is just a perfect opportunity to show you the stitch that I use to create my newest dishcloths. These are um, perfect for um, washing your dishes, washing your face. You could use them in any capacity. You just wanna make sure that you get yourself a cotton yarn. I'm using the Big Twix Big Twist cotton yarn. Now this is like a blend. It's like an 85% cotton and 15% something else. But just make sure that you get yourself a good cotton yarn that is going to be nicely absorbent. That way you can push them into the washing machine when you're ready to wash them and they hold up well when you're washing your dishes. So let's get started. Go ahead and start by making yourself a slip knot and placing that on your crochet hook. Now I use a four weight yarn. So the coordinating crochet hook that I chose to use was a 4.5 millimeter. Um, crochet hook to complete the dishcloth and this project you'll want to complete a multiple your chain in a multiple of two so in my case because I wanted my dishcloths to be relatively small um, I did 22 um, stitches I did a chain of 22 and plus one to get started okay again this is just determining the width of your dishcloth so if you want them to be longer I mean wider then just make your chain a little bit bigger okay once you have your chain completed you're going to do a you're going to chain one so you have an additional chain for your um, turning chain and then you're going to do a single crochet stitch in the second stitch from the hook so you can follow along there on the screen you just need to be comfortable with this just doing a single crochet stitch okay and i'll show it to you multiple times Great. Right. you're going to skip a space and in that next available stitch, you're going to do another single crochet. Okay, so if I can show it to you closer. Right there. Okay, single crochet. And in that same stitch, you're gonna do another single crochet stitch. Turn over and pull through the bottom two. You're going to skip a stitch, and in the next one, you're going to do two single crochet stitches in the same space. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the bottom two. Stitch, skip a stitch, and then do two double crochet stitches. You're going to repeat that pattern all the way down the row. Dishcloths, guys, are a perfect gift, too, if you're ever going to, you know, someone's home, if you're having a gathering, you know, a candle and a couple dishcloths, perfect, um, like, you know, gift for somebody, but I like to make them for myself. So just pause and keep working until you get to the very end, and I'll just show you how we move to the next row. Okay, now that we're getting close to the end here, go ahead and complete, finish out the pattern of doing two single crochet stitches in every stitch, skipping a stitch in between. All right, and then in your very last space, you have one, and then in the very last space, you'll do one single crochet. Okay, and that's how you complete your very first row. You're gonna chain one, turn your work. In the same space as your chain one, you're going to do a single crochet stitch. So essentially you're setting back up your pattern. Okay. You'll skip a space, skip a stitch, and in the next available space, so you're gonna skip that stitch right there. In the next stitch, you're going to do two single crochet stitches. So as you can tell, this pattern is very simple. It repeats two single crochet stitches in every skip space. So you're gonna skip a stitch, the next available stitch, after the skip, you do your two single crochets. This is gonna repeat until you get to the desired length or height for your dishcloths. So in my case, I did a total of, I did a total of 17 rows in this one color and then I'm gonna switch colors to kind of give it a little bit more you know pizzazz <laughs> to another color and I'll show you that okay. 
in, in crocheting everything has a um every stitch kind of has a name so we're using single crochet stitches to create what we call a grit stitch a grit stitch is a pattern so um, that's what we're doing here if you don't catch on here then you can check out my video on my channel on how to do a grit stitch g-r-i-t and that's what this is some people do a grit stitch using a single and a double crochet in the same space but i learned that to be a Suzette stitch and I have a tutorial on that as well so um, yeah <laughs> just continue the pattern across the row you're going to chain one at the very end so insert do one single crochet at the end chain one and turn your work okay this is a great great beginners project because again you're only doing one stitch um, you just have to get comfortable working into your spaces. So I start at round three here on camera. However, I'm not going to stay on camera to go all the way to row 17. I'm going to um, suggest that you pause the video and work until you get to row 17. If you're interested in changing color, I'll show you how to change the yarn color. And um, if not, just keep going with the same color until you get to row, what did I go to? I went to row 26. Okay, so here we are. I'm ready to change my yarn color. So now I'm about to go to row 18. I picked up this cotton yarn last, a couple of years ago, I think, um, at my Dollar General. So you can get cotton yarn pretty much anywhere. I just wanted to change the color up a little bit, but I just added the yarn here at the end. I'm gonna complete my chain of one. I've turned my work and I'm going to continue the pattern. I'm going to put another single crochet right there in that same space as the chain one. And the two tails that are there, if you want to go ahead and tie them together right now at this point, you can. Um, if not, you can come back at the end of the project and do all that tidying of the um, dishcloth. But if you wanted to, you could tie those into a knot. You could also work the tail in as you're working across the row, basically holding down that um, tail and crocheting over top of it. That kind of changes it from a beginner's project to a little bit more um, advanced, but it's not hard to do. I just usually wait till I'm done and then I just weave it in with a sewing needle, a yarn needle. That's how I handle my tails. Okay, so again, we're just following the same pattern, two single crochets in the same space, making sure that you skip a stitch in between each of these like little sets. Anyway, that's, that's pretty much it guys. Just pause and keep working. Again, I went to row 26. If you want this to be a little bit larger, go to row 30 or row 35, however long you want to go. I like a shorter, more condensed dishcloth. It just works easier when I'm washing my dishes. So that's what I decided to do. Um, very simple project. Um, this is again the grit stitch. So you can check my channel if you want a more thorough tutorial on how to do the grit stitch, but hopefully you caught on here. When you're done, you want to just finish off your work. Basically, you're gonna act like you're going to um, do another crochet we're going to cut your yarn act as if you're going to do a single crochet but don't pull it through the, um, the stitch just pull it at the end to make a knot you can kind of see there on the screen and then just get your yarn needle and and um, weave in the tail and that's it guys if this is going to be a gift for somebody you might want to go around and do a little border it makes it look a little bit neater I'm just going to use this in my kitchen, so I'm not going to add that extra little step there. These kind of get really worn in my kitchen. So, um, But if you were giving this to somebody, go ahead and put yourself a nice little border around the, um, the dishcloth. If you have questions about how to do a border or you want me to show you how to do it in a video, let me know and I can do that. But that's it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Very quick video. I will talk to you later. Stay blessed. Bye.